Hey YouTube, it is Brank. I am bringing you a video on Star Citizen again. Um, with this, we're, I'm just going to cover basically what we learned from the Citizen Con 2017 um, last week. And uh, some of the problems that I see kind of on the horizon, if you will, for Star Citizen. So let's get into that. So here we're taking a look at uh, the uh, basically the keynote speech that Chris gave at the uh, CitizenCon last week, um, where they were doing the demo on the uh, planetary uh, planetary tech, and then basically they were going from uh, the planet up to the the uh, base, and then to another planet. Now, the thing that I see is a big problem, and they showed this during this this demo is. The travel time in between planet to planet, or from the where they go from the uh, the base to the planet, took about eight minutes. To me, that's a little bit long, and I don't know how they're going to make that enjoyable. I I know they're talking about you know there's going to be interdiction and there's going to be reasons you're going to need to be basically plastered to your monitor during that time. Problem is, I don't think those are fun. If I need to be plastered to my monitor for eight minutes while I'm traveling from one planet to another to drop off cargo, what am I doing during that time? I can't go use the restroom. I can't go, you know, heat up a hot pocket. I can't go do anything during that time. So, you know, how are they going to make that fun? I, I, I just think they might need to kind of reevaluate the travel times um, from planet to planet. I understand being wanting to have some kind of a travel time. Um, but eight minutes or, or even really anything over two to three minutes, I think is a little bit too long from, from one place to another. Uh, so I don't know. I see that as a problem. I see it as a fixable problem, but we'll have to wait and see what they come up with as far as why am I going to be engaged during those, you know, eight, nine, ten. I don't know. However long, depending on what planet you're going from and to. Um, time. I mean, how are they going to make that fun? So if you have any comments or suggestions, leave them, leave them down below. Cause I'd love to hear what you guys think as far as whether you like the travel time or not. Personally, I think it needs to be cut way back, but that's me. Uh, the second thing that I saw as kind of interesting or maybe a little bit off is as they're going through this, the, uh, planetary, uh, tech demo thing that they're doing here, they're showing you basically, Okay, there's uh, there's the planet. You can see all the you know different uh, stuff down there. There's only going to be two or three places you can actually land, which really means it is a lot of fluff. I mean, I know they talk about it a lot, where they're like, "Oh, everything's going to be you know interactable." Well, not necessarily, not really. I can't land right there, get out and go into you know this guy's house or his little uh, condo overlooking the city. I can get out at the actual locations and I'm still kind of closed in that's fine and I, and I don't mind that and I think you know part of the things that they need to get away from is the mindset that everything needs to be interactable and open it's fine if there's a lot of stuff that's just for look and what's really cool about this is it's not just for look but I can actually you know kind of fly over it I'm actually you know seeing it as I'm doing something, whereas in most games, it's basically that that silhouette background that I can see from afar, but I never can actually get close to. So this gives us a different, another level of detail on top of that. I'm not worried so much that I can't get out and interact with everything. That's fine. I just hope they don't go, you know, try to go too crazy um, and make everything, you know, you go into that building right there. I, I just want to pull off right here and go into that building. Well, you're not going to be able to do all of that, which is fine. Um, so that's interesting. I mean, it'll be interesting to see how they kind of create uh, the world. And that's one of the things that I think is going to be probably one of the most difficult things and why we're going to see a lot more um, pushback on the actual development. Planets are huge. I mean, I know everybody thinks, oh yeah, of course a planet is huge, right? Planets are <laughs> ridiculously huge. So they're creating these planets and moons that we're going to be able to explore 
And there's going to be a lot of nothing. A lot of rocks and hills and nothing out there. Is that going to be fun? I don't know. And yeah, they could put in, you know, wreckage here. And they could put in a little, you know, habitat outpost here. Um, you know, scattering stuff all along the, uh, the planet or moon. But is that going to be enough? I don't know. I, I'm not, I'm not, you know, saying it's, you know, being negative or positive in one way. I'm just, I don't know if that's going to be fun or not. It's going to be interesting. And I think for exploration, it's going to be really cool um, to be able to kind of, you know, go around on these planets, look for maybe life forms, look for, uh, you know, minerals or, you know, whatever it is. That's going to be really interesting. But is it going to be continuously interesting? Is it going to be something where I find a habitat or I find a little outpost? Uh, I go in and I find some kind of a seed or something, right? A, you know, plant seed that's really rare. Okay. And then I keep looking around on this planet. Oh, I found another outpost. There's another seed. Okay. Well, is that really going to be that interesting? Is it going to be enough to where I'm going to want to, you know, get up in the morning and turn on my game and play this game to find those seeds. I don't know. I mean, it, that's really, to me, going to be the difficult part in this game. All the visuals and everything so far, I am amazed by. All the technology that's in this game and how much more technologically advanced this game is than anything else out there is mind-blowing. I mean, it really is. When you look at the technology and, and the different types of systems that go into games, this thing blows them all out of the water hands down absolutely problem is or the dilemma that the development team hit is going to have make that fun like yeah you have all this technology and it's really cool and it really could be something you know awesome and, and groundbreaking but are you going to be able to make it fun and that's kind of goes back to my original point with the travel time is how are you going to make that fun? And that's the one thing. I mean, we've seen them, like I said, that we've seen them show us the visuals. We've seen them show us the technology that they're creating, which I am, you know, super excited and jazzed about. I need to start seeing some of the, how are you going to make this fun? The mission guy, the Miles Eckhart guy, and who, you know, all this other stuff. It's interesting, but I've seen that. That's in other games. Am I expecting something to blow me away? If, am I expecting something beyond what I see in other games? Not necessarily, but it has to be something that, you know, us as a community that's going to be playing this game find enjoyable and find replayable. Because that's really, at the end of the day, what this game is going to come down to is, is it going to be a game that you end up spending lots of hours in? If it is, it will continue to grow and, you know, continue to be developed. If it's a game that you play, basically kind of a one-time story mode thing. Oh, I've done that mission before. Oh, yeah, I went to that outpost. I found those seeds. Bleh, boring. That's not going to be a winning game. That is not going to be a game that's really going to last for any period of time. A few years, um, and then it's going to kind of burn out. So, they have to make that replayability factor in this game, you know, a lot more enjoyable than we can see right now. Do I have faith they can do it? I absolutely have faith they can do it. We're just going to have to give them time and wait and see if that, you know, basically comes to fruition. Um, so, you know, we'll have, we're just going to have to wait and see. This demo, though, shows me that they are on the right track that they have the technology, the basic foundation and the technology in place to do what they're setting out to do. Now we just have to wait and see if they can create that kind of story and immersion and, you know, you know, gameplay and replayability that we all are kind of expecting. And we've all been, you know, told by Chris Roberts and a lot of the development team, that's what's coming. It's, you know, we, we, we get the story updates, we get the, you know, the lore, um, for the game and it all sounds great it just depends on how it all is then going to come together in this game behind all the technology that they have in it so far so that's pretty much it um, hopefully you guys enjoy this video 
Uh, like I said, if you haven't been uh, keeping up with Star Citizen, I'm going to be making a lot more um, Star Citizen videos leading up to 3.0, which hopefully is in the next month or so, and beyond. Because I think one of the big things is, is as soon as 3.0 hits, we're going to see a lot of... Uh, we are going to see a lot of changes to the actual um, game mechanics. So I'm going to try to bring you the information on how to use those new me mechanics um, once cargo um, is is in place, how to, you know, go through cargo on your ship, all that kind of stuff. I'm going to bring you videos on how to um, enjoy the aspect of the game maybe you're trying to enjoy. Uh, cargo exploration, stuff like that. And it's going to be interesting. It's going to be really fun. Hopefully you guys will join me. And if you liked the video, please click the like. And if you'd enjoyed any more of these videos, please click the subscribe button. And as always, please leave comments in the section below if you have any comments or questions. And I will catch you next time. Later.